This video presents our paper, Gesticulator, a framework for semantically aware speech-driven gesture generation. Automatic gesture generation is an important task for animation and human-agent interaction. While previous data-driven methods mainly used only one modality of the speech, either the audio or the text, our model takes both speech semantics and speech acoustics into account and produces body motion as a sequence of joint angle rotations. This makes it possible to generate arbitrary gestures, not only beat gestures that align with the rhythm of the speech, but also gestures that depend on semantic content. Here is an example of gestures generated by our model. There was one scene where, I guess it was kind of out of place, but I still quite liked that it was there, where it was kind of um, like a weirdly comedic mo. Our method is based on deep learning. First, semantic features are extracted from the text using BERT. The semantic and acoustic features of each frame are then concatenated and passed through a feed-forward neural network to reduce dimensionality. A sliding window over the resulting speech features integrates information from past and future speech around each frame. Feature vectors inside the sliding window are concatenated and passed through several fully connected layers to predict the next pose. Our model is autoregressive. We feed three preceding poses back to the model to ensure motion continuity. To feed the information from the previous poses into the network, we use film conditioning, which generalizes regular concatenation. The final layer of the model is linear to not restrict what values the output can attain. To the best of our knowledge, our work is the first method that uses both text and audio simultaneously to generate gestures in continuous space, as opposed to discrete gesture classes. To assess the effect of these innovations, we performed experiments comparing six different ablations of the model against the full model in both subjective and objective evaluations. The evaluations indicate that the most important aspects of the model are the use of autoregression and both speech input modalities. Here is a video generated by our proposed model, showing that text input enables semantic gesticulation by raising hands when speaking the word talk. I started a short story about like this this old alchemist who lives on top of a mountain and then like he Here is the motion produced by our model from the text and acoustics for the same input speech but without autoregressive connections resulting in less smooth motion I started a short story about like this this old alchemist who lives on top of a mountain and then like he The ablation without text in contrast generated the following motion, which has no clear relation to the semantic content of the speech. I started a short story about like this, this old alchemist who lives on top of a mountain, and then like he... The results of our user study agree with these observations. In these bar charts, positive values indicate a preference for the full model over the ablation labeled on the horizontal axis. On all four aspects we evaluated, Participants strongly preferred the full model over ablations that used only one input modality, either text or audio. This shows that both modalities can help make gestures more human-like and match text content better. The presence or absence of autoregression made a significant difference specifically for perceived human likeness. This indicates that autoregression can be used to ensure smooth and continuous motion, but does not affect the semantic aspects of the gestures. Additional experiments are described in the paper. Please see the video description for the links to the paper, code, and data set we used. Thank you for watching.